Boom! Hey everybody, what's up? It's Monday, it's time for a master class, but I've been practicing all day, so I didn't have so much time to prepare a lot of stuff. But because I've been practicing Elgar, uh, there's one thing that I want to share with you that I think it's going to be very, very helpful. Some people have trouble um, coordinating the shifts with the bow and I encourage you um, to steer the shifts with the right hand. So when you practice it slowly, really make sure that you use more bow on the shifting notes and maybe even add a little bit of an accent. It's precisely offbeat, um, which is kind of counterintuitive because what we do usually with the bow is and in this case we have the bow makes the shift. I think that is sort of the essence of what I want to tell you today. Um, also when you look into uh, Rococo variations that shift is entirely done with the right hand which is actually pushing me from the C sharp. You could probably compare it to lifting something heavy. I feel like my right hand is giving an extra push to the left hand uh, to make that octave jump. If I were a little bit more passive with my right hand, I would feel a little bit more insecure. And especially after the theme when you know we're still a little bit nervous, we want to make sure that we push that shift with a lot of confidence up into that higher register. Another example I want to give you is Elgar Concerto, when you come to the famous Sostenuto place. That shift is again entirely done by the confidence of the right hand. If you are a little bit hesitant, then uh, it's never going to be convincing and it rarely is in tune. So your bow really needs to almost be the shepherd of the left hand. Once I figured out that principle for myself when it comes to performance, it gives me huge amounts of confidence and huge amounts of security actually. And uh, I highly encourage you that you try this out yourself. All right, that's it for today. It's more of a masterclass quickie today, but why not? I was working on that, so I wanted to share it with you. I hope you guys are well and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.